Welcome back. One final point before we go. This one is for the trolls on Twitter who went nuts when Vice President Mike Pence candidly shared with the world that he doesn't take women other than his wife on dinner dates, and he doesn't get sloshed unless his wife is with him. The dog, I tell ya, what a heinous crime. A man happily married to the same woman for over 30 years, faithful to her, even when it's not easy. Really, ladies, you're trashing him for that? Mike Pence is faithful to his wife, and liberals accuse him of practicing Sharia law. Listen, this is what we hear from liberals. Sincere question, how is this different from extreme repressive interpretations of Islam, Sharia law, mocked by people like Mike Pence? Well, Mike Pence chooses to honor his wife. Sharia law stones women for being raped. But I understand your confusion. Oh, no, wait. No, I don't. You're crazy. A headline from The Atlantic this morning, refusing to be alone with a woman is a standard practice among religious conservatives. No, refusing to be unfaithful to your wife is a standard practice among decent husbands. Vice President Mike Pence lives in the moral cesspool of the DC Beltway. He's a politician. He's surrounded by power hungry people of both sexes. He's a powerful man himself. Still, he's faithful to his wife. Yet somehow to liberals, that makes him a misogynist. Here's the thing. You progressives mock him for calling his wife mother because you have no respect for motherhood. You ridicule him for respecting the sanctity of their marriage because that destroys your narrative that commitment is repressive. You scorn the respect he shows his wife. You claim that attitude is harmful to women while you push for a shallow culture of instant gratification and meaningless hookups that hurts women. You put men like Bill Clinton and his cigar on a pedestal. You praise men like Ted Kennedy, who drove a woman off a bridge and killed her. You excuse perverts like Anthony Weiner and ignore jack wagons like John Edwards. If there's anybody who doesn't care about women, it's you liberal progressive feminists who mercilessly mock a man who loves his wife deeply enough to protect his marriage, even if that requires self-sacrifice and self-control. All the while, you encourage women to get on birth control at age 16 so they can experiment without consequences. You pressure young women to shout your abortion. You storm out of your office, be decked in pink genitalia hats when you're mad about your salary. You pretend you stand up for women's autonomy, but you ignore the Muslim women who are targeted for honor killings right here in our own country. And now, when a man is faithful to his wife, you think that's something to mercilessly mock. Well, if that's a commentary on the modern liberal mindset, that's just sad. And that's my final point tonight. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us live here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.